So for this build, I'm cheating a little bit. One, because I know this build is very likely about to get nerfed a lot in the next patch. And two, this build does not have to be done on Loki. So having this be the Loki build, I'm cheating because this build would objectively be better if you just use it on Octavia instead. But Loki is so fucking bad and is just an objective worse version than Octavia in basically every single situation. I need to have something for the Loki build. So this build is an Exodia Contagion build. And the reason why it's about to get nerfed is because Eclipse is going to change in the Dante Unbound update and is probably going to break this build. And the reason is because Eclipse has a bunch of weird spaghetti code. And for some reason on Exodia Contagion, Eclipse is, I don't know the exact mathematical operation, but it's like multiplied by itself or it's being squared or something. Eclipse does way too much damage with Exodia Contagion. It is multiplied so much, Eclipse is the single biggest thing you can use to increase your damage with an Exodia Contagion build. And if you don't know what Exodia Contagion is, it is this Zaw Arcane. And basically, you shoot an air projectile that'll explode and deal a bunch of damage. Now this build is basically focusing on raw damage and crits. We even got Spoiled Strike. Uh, for the Arcane, I don't know if Melee Duplicate works. It might. I don't know. I'm just using exposure because I feel like it. Uh, the Riven here doesn't really matter. You don't need it. This is just really good for what I have. And the Zaw parts for this are these, as you can see here. This can work on basically any Zaw. This is not a, a, a Zaw that's optimized for this specifically, but this build can very easily reach damage cap under specific situations. So you don't really need to focus on like min-massing it super hard. The, the way you easily reach damage cap is instead of doing a light attack version, you do a heavy attack version that also headshots and like basically stacking all those damage multipliers. You don't need that much. It's a lot easier to just do two light attack versions than it is to try to build up like a second heavy attack big damage cap nuke if they somehow survive the first hit. So you don't really need to worry about doing the literal billions and billions of damage. Just using it normally is fine. And the way we use it is with a couple very, very weird things. So obviously, you need Eclipse. High strength, high duration is nice because we're also using invisibility. Because invisibility can snapshot uh, your state of Eclipse. So if, um, you don't have to worry about the light and dark mechanic. Which also, that's going to go away <laughs> in the Dante Unbound update too. So you don't even need to use Loki or anyone with invisibility for this. And this is also what I said when it would be better on Octavia because you have infinite invisibility. It would just be better. But what we're using to increase Exodia Contagion's damage more is we're using Vigorous Swap, Holster Amp, and Arcane Arachne. You can see I don't have this maxed. I have it barely leveled up, but this is a pretty decent damage upgrade or, or damage boost to Exodia Contagion. Everything else here is just like normal, more strength. Just basically a lot of strength and duration and energy nexus is to make up for our negative efficiency so we can cast our abilities good. The way that Exodia Contagion works is after you double jump or bullet jump, if you aim glide melee, you will throw out projectile. And because of the way this works, when you aim glide, you're aiming with your gun. When you melee, you swap to your melee to shoot out the melee, which means that holster amp and vigorous swap trigger automatically. You don't need to like worry about swapping and doing that annoying stuff. So that's a really easy damage boost for that. It also, as you can see, it does get more damage if you snipe with it. You don't need to do that. The rest of the build doesn't really matter. I'm using the Daikyu only for Daikyu target acquired. And that is because lifesteal on Akanas. I mean, if you're going at high levels, you're going to die anyways if you health, take health damage, probably. So this doesn't really matter. Like, literally none of this matters. I have demonstrations here because nice sprint speed. You can use whatever. I'm using Axolotl Prime just because it's a fast firing gun to deal with nullifiers if I'm playing against a faction that has nullifiers. Um, the only weapon I'm using here is the Zaw. For the companion, I'm just using a basic Panzer. Uh, this is the build. It priming is nice. It's not needed for <laughs> killing normal enemies, but for the heavier enemies and also Demolus for doing disruption, it's nice. <laughs> the gameplay I'm gonna be showcasing is going to be using both Uniru and occasionally priming the Demolists, but 
you don't really need to, especially for if you're not doing this for uh, disruption, if you're just using it for survival or whatever. You don't need to do any of this like priming and armor shipping and stuff. It does enough damage to just kill everything instantly. The gameplay showcase is going to be using Uniru to sometimes armor ship the Demolus. Most of them you don't need to, although some of the Demolus types that are super, super armored, you don't one-shot them uh, without uh, armor shipping them if you don't get like a big direct hit headshot. You don't need to armor strip, it just guarantees that you one-shot the Demolist at really high level steel path. If you're doing like super super high level, you can, like I would recommend bringing an armor strip. You can also just stick with Madurai for the more strength and also using Void Strike if you use some other form of armor strip. But this build just does so much damage by itself, you don't really need to bring anything else. And also, no Archon Shards as well, so. You could bring more if you want duration or strength or whatever. But this build is already so stupid, you don't need to do any of that other extra stuff.